The late Caroline Martha's husband, Joshua Chiang, has refuted claims by police that his wife died while attempting to procure an abortion at a Backstreet Clinic in Dandora. According to Chiang, the narrative given by the police does not make sense at all. Enoch Sicolia with the latest intrigues of a death that has gripped the nation. On a back street in Dandora Phase 4 sits this light blue building, now marked a crime scene. This is Nyunjiru Community Center, where according to police, Caroline Mother's life ended. And we've been here for the last three hours. We've been seeing detectives come in and leave. We have also seen police officers, two of them to be exact, manning this place. It's been cordoned off. On an ordinary day, the building will be witnessing an influx of patients seeking medical assistance. But today, the place is under lock and police watch. Along the alley, groupings of residents dot the landscape. The place has been in the headlines after police on Tuesday claimed that Caroline Martha, a local human rights activist, had attempted to procure an abortion at the dingy clinic and died in the long run. It is the talk of the day with claims of the private facility being a haven for those seeking to terminate pregnancies. <laughs> The Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board says that the clinic and the operators are not registered by the regulator and hence it being illegal. According to the police, Caroline Mother, whose husband Joshua Ocheng is based in Dubai, was five months pregnant for another man and wanted to get rid of it before things went wrong. But Ocheng is not buying that narrative. If she was pregnant, she could have informed me, I could have started my shopping. And if it's an illegal pregnancy, why should she wait for five months? Five months. She could have just died an abortion for one month for me not to know exactly what is going on. Ocheng believes that this is a cover-up and her death could be work-related. There is an evidence she went to collect and she was told this one may lead your life in danger. Are you ready to get the information? She says she is ready. So I think where she is lying, she is having an information that they never wanted to be revealed. At the Dandora Community Justice Center, Lydia Wamboi is yet to come to terms with the loss of her friend and workmate. She says they were inseparable. Even a single day, Karo Ajayi Sema, hata wengine wakisema wako kwa hatari, Ajayi Sema. In Dandora, we established that indeed Caroline was a household name given her aggression against police brutality, sexual abuse and gender-based violence. The human rights activist had active cases against some police officers in Dandora. Caroline was on the front line in the case against some officers who are accused of killing five young men at a garage near Dandora dump site in August last year. Police claimed they were armed criminals, but the activist managed to build a case with evidence pointing out that officers shot them after being outrun by two thieves who had managed to escape through the dump site. Another murder of six young men by police at Gitwamba in Dandora was also in her locker. Before her death, Martha had revived a case where some AP officers manhandled a matatu driver and his conductor. Kuna wakati tumefuatwa na magari tukiwa women HRDs. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.